Hope y'all are doing good. I took me a long break from YouTube, probably about a month. I apologize for that, for all y'all that like to watch my videos. But I needed me a little break, cause it takes a long time to make the videos I was making. Probably takes about takes me about six six to ten hours for each video to, you know, from start to finish, filming and editing and putting it all together and everything. So it was taking up a lot of time, but it was enjoyable, but frustrating at the same time because I wasn't getting the views I wanted out of it, but I guess I shouldn't worry about the views. Seems like other people get a lot more views for the same thing, but I don't know. It's ageism maybe, I don't know, but I'm going to start making a few more just for, just for fun. Probably not as much as I was before because that is just a lot of work and my main job is driving the truck so and I got other things I want to do like watch TV shows and stuff and you know just get away from truck trucking stuff so I'll make a few videos here and there so there's something be the same as I was making before but not uh, not like every load you know, this load, then this load, then this load, then this load, because I can't keep up with it. I end up getting like 600 clips in my storage thing, and it's just daunting. You can't figure out how to, you know, all those hours it's going to take to get through all those 600 clips. It's just like makes you not even want to do it. So I just deleted them all, and I'm going to start just doing a video at a time and putting that up and then making another video instead of collecting all those clips because it's just too much and sometimes I get frustrated with the with the views on YouTube because it seems like other people do the same thing and they get they get way more views but who knows just don't look at that I guess but anyways let's see while I've been gone I was just doing what I would do doing the same thing I was showing you before. I think I went out to California. I don't think I know I did. And I, well, at first I went to Arizona, then California. Then I went to Minnesota. I think I went there from Las Vegas. And then I ended up over there in Florida. And I went to Texas and a bunch of places in between. I can't remember it all. But it was all over the countryside. But things have been going okay. I make decent money when I'm out. Maybe a little less than I used to be. But it is uh, more time between loads and stuff. But I do pretty good. The hard part is when you go home. Seems like it's harder to go home now than it used to be. <laughs> when it was booming, you had money to go home with and you didn't feel it as hard. But now, seems like you're just making enough to what you need while you're out. And then you don't have all the extra to go home with. And you end up eating in the hall when you go home. But for me, I mean, if I stay out for five weeks, I'm going to go home for five days. But it ends up being a week by the time you get there one day. And then I got my five days off and then I leave. It ends up being a week. What are you doing? What'd you get up there? Trying to make a video. What are you doing? She's being a nanner head. I don't know what you want. But anyway, let's see, this week, uh, last week I went home and it was enjoyable. I went fishing and one day I didn't catch nothing and it was really hot that day. And then on uh, Father's Day morning I went out fishing and caught a big one. I put it on uh, Facebook if anyone wants to see. Just go to Jim Cox on Facebook and friend, I'll friend you and you can look at it or whatever. And then, let's see, I went back to work. Let's see, right now it's Thursday. I went back to work Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Got me a load from Grayson to Louisville. Load from Smithfield Ham out of Grayson to Louisville, Millard Cold Storage. And then I went from there to, well after that they, they gave me a load going from the JBS plant in uh, Louisville 
out to Massachusetts near Boston and I'm just done with that whole area I don't even want to go up there anymore to the Northeast I don't like it because there's no no truck stops up there you can't take a shower nowhere to park traffic's horrible it's all hills and you end up pulling 40 plus thousand pounds into there and you got tolls out the yin yang and the tolls don't hit until a week later or two weeks later so you ended up two weeks later with $300 off your check from the tolls it's just not worth it to me to go up there with all the hassle this load was paying over $2,800 for a thousand miles but I still didn't want it because I just don't want to go up there I don't care I don't care to go up there anymore it's just a pain to go up there and they were like don't you see that it's a thousand miles for 2800 and I was like yeah but three hundred dollars three hundred dollars of that is tolls so you know then it ended up being twenty five hundred dollars and then you know the load out is gonna be a dollar a mile and no tolls paid so you're gonna eat it on the way out so your actual round trip mile pay is gonna be under two dollars a mile it just it's not worth it to me all the hassle isn't worth it but I don't know we'll see what how it turns out right now I'm over here in Chillicothe at this pilot it's a nutty pilot there's only one way in here and you watch people come in here and and they get stuck and turn around try to turn around and stuff but anyway I digress but uh, I hope I used that right I hear people using that all the time and I don't know how to use it I guess I was digressing <laughs> but anyway that's about all but I don't know I felt kind of bad turning that load down but it'll be all right I still got Saturday night I'll have 2500 so but I would have had 2800 I would have had 2500 but I don't know where I would have been on Saturday night see because Friday night it delivered at five o'clock in the morning or that load to Massachusetts delivered Friday at five o'clock in the morning and now so I would have had 2800 then but really 2500 because of the tolls and then I probably would have picked up a load Friday night uh, who knows Friday evening mid on down I might have been better off but I'd had all that hassle so it's not worth it and I read the reviews on the place I was gonna deliver to and it said if they if they don't want you yet they send you away to go park somewhere else and there's nowhere to park around there so just be a bunch of hassle only two dock doors I, it's just not worth the hassle of me go up there I can make money out here without going up there I just about don't want to go past uh, Virginia I'll go into Virginia but I don't really like it I don't need Maryland I don't need Delaware I don't need New Jersey I don't need none of that up there uh, Connecticut Rhode Island Massachusetts uh, Vermont uh, any of it New Hampshire Maine to all of it I've done it I've been out here for 18 years I done put my time in going up there and I'm just I'm just not into going up there anymore just the money to get the money they pay to get you to go up there don't seem worth it to me I'd just rather stay out here and not have the stress and have a place to park and truck stops to shower in and not all the hassle all the dink, dinky roads I got over there eh they can keep it I don't need it but anyways I'll start make, I'll make another uh, visual video next maybe on the next load I do going to uh, it's going to Opelika I think it's Opelika, Alabama, from uh, Jackson, Ohio. That's where I'm going next. So maybe I'll do that. Some people don't say where they're going, but I don't know why. What do they think? Someone's going to come get them, come find them? I don't know. They don't want them to know where they're going. But I don't really worry about it. But when I said where I was going, I just thought about it because because other people don't say where they're going but and it really bothers me except when I think that other people don't do it 
I guess I don't got enough people that would want to would be interested in talking to me that I worry about be of knowing where I am I don't know I don't know what the reasoning is I guess for security maybe you know where people where they're going what they're hauling but I don't even know what I'm hauling it's just a trailer to me but yeah there is a lot of theft going on so you got to be careful but anyway I am digressing now so that's about all I got for now I'll put this up a little later and maybe I'll record that next visual video or it might be the load after that we'll see how I feel anyway y'all have a good one y'all take care y'all be nice I'll talk to y'all later bye